Hello my YouTube family and welcome to my video today. Thank you for taking a look. Thank you for uh, watching and subscribing and all of your wonderful comments. I appreciate them so, so much. Uh, today we're looking at a 2013 Focus ST3. This is a really, really nice and well cared for little pocket rocket hot rod car. Um, it's been well cared for. It has a good history, it's clean, it's nice, it hasn't been heavily modified, it hasn't been wrecked, uh, it doesn't have a bad title or anything crazy like that. It's a clean title car, clean Carfax car, only two owners, and it does have some modifications and I'm going to name them for you here in a moment, but everything is very nicely done and the car has zero issues and it drives fantastic. So it's a bit different than the norm of one of these that someone has just absolutely, um, you know, heavily, heavily modified or wrecked or any of the above. But this is a nice car that's been taken care of by its couple previous owners. Um, right at 98,000 miles, uh, equal ownership. Uh, most recent owner from 2017 with 54,000 miles till current. So it's about split uh, mileage and and years between the two owners. Um, the sun is rising right now. The exterior paint color is tuxedo black metallic. So uh, after the sun comes up here, probably during this video, or I can pull it over in the sun, we'll see the metallic in the paint. Uh, black leather heated Recaro seats in this car. Um, it's an ST3, so the ST3 gave it some other stuff over the ST2 package. I have the original window sticker laying on the dashboard. We'll take a look at that but it has bi-xenon bi headlights, uh, Sony uh, stereo system with the touch screen, nice screen in the dash, Bluetooth of course, uh, a power sunroof, and ambient interior lighting. Uh, I have a segment that I did at night to show the lights inside, although it's really, really dark and black that I'll add to this video somewhere in this video. Um, so let's take a look around here. Uh, you can see the exhaust as we come around the back. You've seen the inky wheels, 18-inch uh, inky wheels. Uh, the exhaust is a 2.5-inch Magnaflow catback exhaust. The tips are twice as large, almost 5 inches on the tips there. Give it a really nice look. There comes the sun. Uh, so it is nice, it is clean, the interior is nice, it hasn't been smoked in, it has both original keys. If you're interested in the car, my phone number is in the description and the comments down below. Please feel free to reach out and get a hold of me. Um, so, modifications. Here's the list. It has a Ford Racing intake. I will show you under the hood in one moment after I name this stuff off. Uh, a Ford racing intake, uh, a Ford race tune, but it runs on regular 91 octane uh, fuel. The divorce tool is included for that. Uh, it has a front mount intercooler with hard pipes. Uh, the front grill flaps were removed due to the intercooler. Uh, the rear motor mount has been upgraded, has a short shifter, has a gas pedal spacer. See the front grill there? Um, has a gas pedal spacer, uh, ceramic brake pads with cross-drilled rotors, the two and a half Magnaflow catback exhaust that I just mentioned a moment ago with the tips that are about five inch coming out the back, uh, the 18 inch Anki wheels. These are brand new Yokohama Advance Sport 235, 40, 18 tires on here. These are all season tires. So, you know, wouldn't need a separate set of wheels. You could drive it all year round right here. These tires are brand new. Uh, you can see the date code right there. Um, these are brand, brand new. They don't have many mileage at all, as well as all four TPMS sensors are also new. So those were installed at the same time as the tires. It does have the stock clutch. No modifications have been made to the clutch. Uh, the sun just hit the paint. Now you can really see the tuxedo black metallic. It's kind of like uh, uh, in the German cars, BMW black sapphire metallic. Real pretty in the sun, but then looks plain black in the shade. But you can really see it now that the sun's starting to hit it. Um, recent service on the car includes 
uh, an oil change, a new air filter, a new cabin filter, uh, the brake and the clutch fluid was changed. Uh, the tires that I just mentioned and the TPMS sensors. The battery is one year old, so the battery is not very old at all. Uh, plugs and coils were replaced one year ago as well. So the battery and the plugs and the coils one year ago. Transmission fluid was changed a couple years ago. So it has definitely been taken care of. Uh, all the recalls at Ford are also up to date for it. Um, let's take a look under the hood now. Uh, drives, runs and drives perfect. Everything works like it should. There's no, no issues with the car. Um, well, since we're right here, I'll just lay this on the seat so you can take a better look. The original window sticker, there we are. If you drive it nicely, look at that. You get 32 miles to the gallon. Not bad at all. About $30,000 new. There's the base stuff up here. There's the color, tuxedo black metallic. And then uh, ST3 option package with heated seats, the bi-xenon lights, the ambient interior lighting, and the Sony stereo, and then a standalone option for the sunroof for $900. So there is that. The interior is stock. I will be making a separate driving video of me driving this car like I like to do. If you look at my channel and my other car videos, uh, I will have a whole separate video of me driving the car. So take a look for that. It should be right next to this one on my channel. Um, I'm going to do some city, some freeway. Uh, I'm going to do a little, little different stuff with this car. I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to have a ride along passenger to video some things. Um, and I'm going to do some drive by stuff. So. It ought to be pretty cool. I'm not a professional, I'm still an amateur, but I try to do the best I can to show you guys everything about the car. Uh, most likely at the end of this video or somewhere thereabouts, I will show a cold start that I just recorded this morning in my garage. The car cold starts perfectly, no smoking, nothing weird, no weird sounds. Uh, so take a look for that. I probably will attach it at the tail end of this walk around video. So take a look for that as well. So try to show it all. Very transparent. I believe in total transparency. So um, at one point, car did have a k and air filter. Uh, it is back to a stock air filter at this time. Um, everything nice and clean under here. but I did want to show all the wheels before I do that. The wheels are decent. They do have some curb rash on each of them um, here. Uh, nothing that affects obviously ride or drive, just cosmetic. I just wanted to uh, make that known. Right there on this one, still look pretty good. You can see the uh, uh, slotted rotors here. <coughs> doesn't have too much just a little bit right there along the edge and this one on the right front is probably the nicest just a little chip right there but overall 
Looking pretty good. Again, new tires all the way on all four corners. Um, there's a tiny little uh, ding right here. You can see with my finger on the upper of the passenger door. There's a few paint chips around, door edge chips, little stuff right here. Um, window tint on the back window is, has a few bubbles peeling there on that corner and over here. A few other little paint chips on the driver's side door, nothing big. A little bit of rash on the front bumper, not the sun's hitting it. You can see it, you know, bug damage stuff on this bumper. Um, it's nothing that is going to affect anything and it's commensurate with the mileage. A few chips on the nose, chip here on the hood. Um, you know, very, very reasonable for the mileage, very normal and really no way to get this type of, this type of stuff off because the bug, if you don't know, the bug splatter has kind of embedded itself into the clear coats. So there's really no way to, uh, to change that. Uh, the lights are nice and clear, only a little bit of uh, burning on the top surfaces, but overall very clear. Same thing here. Uh, I'm going to try to show you underneath to the best of my ability here. Um, <coughs> the front, all of the shields are here like they should be, so there's really not much to see there. And then let's go around back, and you'll see a lot more if I can show you here. Magnaflow on the exhaust tip. Uh, so definitely can see a lot better back here. <laughs> One second. Yeah. There we go. So clean, nice. WeatherTech mat back here, Sony factory uh, speaker back here, um, spare tire is here, everything is here, um, there's the engine um, um, controller module, some extra coils from the ones that were removed, that spares, cargo shade divider, whatever you call it you like to call it the cover piece is here this tailgate plastic is in great shape there's no no marks on it or anything like that <clears throat> well now the sun's really hitting the side of the car you can really see that metallic paint there you go yeah look at that it's like a whole different car all that sparkle <clears throat> Uh, it has the touch sensor key. It's what the button is here on the door. Uh, the key's in the car right now, but you know, it has the touch sensor key. Uh, door panels are very, very nice. All the original floor mats. I don't remember if I already said this, but it does have both original keys as well. Uh, here's the Recaro seats. These uh, these bad boys, when I slide into this, it reminds me of older uh, Audi S4s, if you're familiar with those. And kind of the shape and structure of, of the seat reminds me of that, the Recaro seats in those cars. Only the slightest bit of color wear right here. Really minor, still nice and soft. These seats are fantastic. So on the inside, everything you would expect, there's one of the keys 
uh, heated seats here, um, small compartment here, but with uh, a couple of USBs in the back there and a larger compartment down below. Uh, power outlet here. Shifter is original, um, synced by Microsoft. Automatic climate control, dual zone climate control. Here's the Sony uh, stereo and uh, touch screen. This really works uh, nicely. Um, I'm going to turn a little bit. This sounds driving me crazy. Um, the Sony, um, the Sony uh, screen is fantastic. Uh, this is the same as other Ford product cars, but it res the response is very quick. Navigation. Okay. Yes. Yes. The doors open. Okay. Thank you. Um, navigation, uh, you know, the home menu, climate control stuff, radio, phone, it's all real quick, real seamless integration. Uh, factory gauges up here with uh, oil pressure, boost gauge, and oil temperature. Uh, steering wheel is in great shape, just a little bit of color wear across the top here, but still nice and smooth. The perforated leather on the sides is very nice, ST badge, chrome badge on the bottom. There's our exact mileage right now, 98,470. So there we are. It does in fact have a full tank of fuel. <clears throat> da -da -da. Uh, automatic headlights, I've got them in the off position right now, but automatic headlights, trunk opener right there. Um, you know, dashboard is, is nice, that's my clipboard up there. Thing. Everything on the inside, very, very nice on the car. Um, headliner, great shape, no issues there. Sunroof, one touch. So there's that. Back seat, same way. Back seats are very, very nice. Of course, they fold down uh, the front seats are too too close at this time but you get the idea they fold uh, mats back here has all of the original mats both original keys original window sticker all of the owner's manuals <coughs> I saw the hatch I saw underneath all right Thanks again for looking, thanks for watching and your subscriptions, any comments, I love your comments, I like feedback. This passenger seat is uh, just as nice as the driver and of course doesn't even have the little bit of wear right there, it's basically brand new. Very, very, very nice. final floor mat so again all four floor mats two keys um, window sticker and then this is the owner's manuals I think it's a fantastic little car. It's not little, but smaller. Look at that in the sun there. It's a lot of fun to drive. Very quick, very responsive. And, you know, I may have forgotten to say this now that I'm thinking of the number in my head, but uh, factory horsepower rating, 252 horsepower. Doesn't really sound like a lot, but it certainly feels like it, of course, with the EcoBoost motor um, and obviously the exhaust and some of the other things. So, a whole lot of fun to drive. Very responsive, very quick. Take a look on my channel for the driving video. And like I said, probably right about at the end of this where I'm here about to conclude, I'll attach the cold start video and anything else I wanna throw in there. Uh, definitely not a professional, just enjoy to do what I do and present the cars and show you guys. And I, 
I appreciate all of my uh, followers and I appreciate your comments and your subscriptions and your suggestions. I've learned a lot from you guys. So thank you to my YouTube family and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and have a great day. Bye bye. So just a quick nighttime segment right here to talk about a couple of things that you can only see best at night. You can see the xenon uh, headlamps here. So got blue puddle lamps when you open the door. Blue. Any of the doors actually on both sides. <clears throat> So, very cool. And then, the factory ambient lighting is just neat. So here we are, wait for that dome light to go out. So you can see the blue in the door handle and on the, and the footwell over here. You can see it on my shoes there. Uh, you can change the intensity of the brightness of the light and then uh, of course change the color. There's green, orange, red, pink maybe, and then back to this uh, blue color. So actually you can probably see it real well right there. Green, orange, red, pink, mm, white. <laughs> turquoise and back to blue so just to demonstrate that real quick and then something else I wanted to show just because I think it's awesome and uh, my Lincoln Town Car has this but uh, the car has cornering lights so if you were to go to pull into this driveway right here you see the see the light to turn on <clears throat> so make a right turn you don't even have to use the turn signal but you can see the light turn on and eliminate the turn so it kind of turns on before you turn the direction you're going left right see it left right I just think it's uh, cool neat and handy uh, so just wanted to show those couple of things but here's the dashboard at night all the lights are working uh, all the instrumentation steering wheel lights everything like that so yeah thanks for watching okay this is a completely cold start uh, for this focus st3 going to go ahead and start it it's been sitting here for more than 24 hours here we go <clears throat>
awesomeness.